What is going on everybody? HockeyFair13 here. I'm back without the hat. Uh, no hat today. This is, this is just what I got. But um, yeah, I'm back uh, after a week. Um, uh, things sorted out and everything's good. So um, I'm finally back to putting out videos. Um, uh, I finally feel motivated to. And um, yeah, so we have five titles to talk about today. Let me count just to make sure because let's just make sure I know how to count. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, we got five titles. Okay, we're gonna be talking about all these titles today. So um, yeah, let's just get started. Let's get um, let's go from the uh, I have the four like four I have are unopened, and then one I have is already open. So might as well just do the already opened one. But um, I got this off of Amazon for like twenty three bucks. The reason it was that much is because it's kind of a rare Blu Ray to find. But it's called Deathgasm, and Deathgasm is basically the story about this kid that's really into metal. And he finds these metal lyrics with his best friend in his metal band. And uh, some crazy shit starts happening. Demons break out in his little town. And yeah, it's just a really great movie. Um, I'm a huge fan of metal music. So this movie is kind of perfect for me. It's kind of the best metal movie in my opinion. I've seen it so many times. I love it every time. It's a great party movie. You can just put this on when people are over and you can just laugh at it. It's a really, really good movie and I highly recommend it. And um, uh, yeah, really glad I got this. Okay, now moving on. Okay, something just fell. Okay, now moving on to the next one is another film I got from Amazon for like ten bucks, I think, and it's called Red State. Now, if not of you, I don't know if a lot of you know, but this movie is directed by Kevin Smith, and um, on it it says an unlikely film from Kevin Smith, from that Kevin Smith. Now, Kevin Smith is Ke Kevin Smith, Kevin Smith, yeah. Kevin Smith is known for directing comedies like Clerks and Jane Silent Bob and Dogma. You would never expect this movie from him. Now, as far as what people think about this movie from when it first came out, they said it was trash, they said it wasn't any good, the story was stupid. But in my opinion, if you look at Kevin Smith, a dude that directs comedy movies, going into directing a serious movie with a serious script and having only a budget of $4 million, the dude did a pretty good job with what he wanted to do with this movie. Anyway, if you guys don't know what Red State is about, it's basically about these, like, three kids who find this girl online, and he's like, they're, she's, like, looking for people to have sex with her or whatever, and basically they're all, they're like, kids you know just dropping out of high like just coming out of high school and they're all like oh, all right so when they go uh meet up with the chick they get caught up in this like weird church cult group and if you actually look up the original ending that kevin smith wanted to do for this movie it would have made the movie 10 times better in my opinion obviously but he only had four million dollars and if say he would have did that ending it would have been the most money he's ever spent on any movie ever so yeah but you know it has you know john goodman in it so you know and Quentin Tarantino says, I love this movie. It says, says it right there. So, yeah, obviously Quentin Tarantino loved it. So, um, I would give away the digital download copy code, but it expired in 2015. So, um, yeah, I'm really kind of glad I got Red State because it's kind of a rare Blu-ray to find. I can't find it in local places. So, yeah, I'm glad I got it off Amazon for, like I said, 10 bucks. So, I'd, I'd recommend giving this a watch if you guys haven't seen it. And like I said, you guys probably don't know that this movie is directed by Kevin Smith. Okay, I have trash. I'll throw away later. Okay, now, two movies I got from the Dollar General. They're, uh, they were both $4.95, so I paid about 10 bucks for both of them. And uh, it's Under Siege 1 and 2. Now, the reason I got these is because uh, the Dollar General sells cheap movies. And they basically, you know, if you guys don't know what Under Siege is, I haven't seen either of them. But they have Steven Seagal in it, an old action star that's basically in like every movie nowadays like if you count how many movies steven seagal is in in like a year he's in like he's probably in about like 100 movies a year but um basically like if you guys don't know what under siege is they basically just went like the director or the writer or whoever came into the room and it was just like you know what let's make die hard but on a ship it's basically what under siege is yeah i've never seen it but i basically know that it's die hard on a ship that's basically what it says right here, literally. Die Hard on a Battleship, a high-tech thriller with laughs and thrills. It's basically Die Hard, but on a ship. 
As far as Under Siege 2 goes, I think it's Die Hard. Yep, it, it literally says what I thought it would say. I'm going to read it for you. Let me just get it open. Literally says... Die Hard on a Train, a live, a lively show, some amazing stuff. So I'm going to guess this one is Die Hard on a Train. Um, yeah, uh, Under Siege, one and two. Excited to give them a watch. I'm pretty sure they're really good, honestly. I'm honestly being serious. Pretty sure they're really good. And now for, I saved the best for last. Um, I got this, I think, the day it came out, um, and I saved it for the movie pickup, but it's Creed 2. Uh, it's a 4K, picked up the 4K. Um, honestly, Creed, I don't think Creed 2 was necessarily a, that good, like, like big, like, I, I think, like, good movies like, like, like Logan and movies like, uh, you know, um, Saving Private Ryan would look good in 4K. You know, Creed 2 isn't really that big of a movie. It's not a huge, big, epic movie. I mean, for some people it might be. But for me, it's an epic movie, but not really epic movie that you might have bought it in 4K. But it was only like $4 more, so, and there was one left. So I was like, you know what? I have a 4K TV now. I might as well get it. So, yeah. So let's open it. As far as my thoughts on Creed 2 goes, if you guys want to see my um, Creed 2 review that I put up back in... Um, I think this came out in October, didn't it? Yeah, I think it's October. Um, if you guys want to go check out that review, you can see my thoughts there. As far as Creed 2 goes, I love the movie. Um, I've seen it twice now. I'm probably going to watch it a third time, now owning it on 4K. But um, I think it's a far better film than uh, Creed 1. And like I said, with the director of Stephen Capel Jr., I really think that that guy is going places with his directing. Because had watched, like I watched this movie again after I seen it in the theaters, and I just really, really love this movie. Like the way this movie is directed, I love all the performances. You know, like I said, I, I never found out his name, but the guy that they had to play, Victor Drago, is an absolute beast. Um, I'm going to give the download copy code away. Um, here you go. It's right here. I'm gonna pause the video, it's gone away forever. Okay, now, so yeah, Creed 2, it's absolutely phenomenal. You guys can go watch my review if you wanna know my full in-depth thoughts on it. And um, yeah, it's Creed 2, amazing. Um, and uh, yeah, this is my movie pickup. I'm actually going up to disc replay today because I have some money. So um, be looking for, forward to another movie pickup. But as far as these five titles go, if you guys have seen any of them, let me know what you think of them in the comments below. Especially now when you think of Deathgasm. And let me know if any of you have seen Red State or what you th if you have seen it, what you think of the movie. And uh, I'm excited to give Under Siege a watch and excited to watch Creed 2 again. So... Yeah, let me know what you think of all of these down below, or let me know your favorite one, whatever you guys want to do. Leave a like on the video. I'm back with the videos, pumping out that great content every day. Like and subscribe. I just sound retarded now, but anyway. Oh yeah, I also have Blu-rays to trade in. I'm going to be trading in the French Connection, which I took out because it was so boring. Offense, No offense to anyone that actually likes this movie. Um, my Blu-ray is Saving Private Ryan because I upgraded to 4K. And the Spanish version, even though it has an English version, but the actual official Spanish version of the Rambo Collection that I didn't realize was Spanish until I actually looked at it. So yeah, I got to rebuy it. Anyway, um, be looking forward to a movie vlog because I have a new setup and I want to show my new TV to you guys, my new 4K TV, because yeah, I don't think you guys actually know about that yet. So, um, yeah, look forward to that uh, video, and, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.